Hello everybody, this is Carbon Killed the Cat and welcome to your 20th C++ tutorial. In this video we'll be going over templates and I know I said we'd be starting the STL library this video but uh, templates are very important to the STL library so I feel like we should go over them before we get into that. So in this tutorial we'll be going over template functions and in the next video we'll be going over template classes. So what a template is, is it's something you can use with a function that's an abstraction method that allows the function to take in an unknown type as a parameter and return an unknown type. So that probably sounds confusing, but once I show you an example, it'll probably become a lot more clear. So to declare a template function, you say template, and then in triangle brackets, like with iostream, but this has nothing to do with includes, you say type name and the convention is to use T but you can use a word letter anything that is valid for a variable name you can use for a template name so then you just go on to a new line no semicolon and you declare your function so we'll say int and we're just gonna take in a parameter and return that parameter simple function so Actually, it's not, it's not going to be an int, it's going to be t. This t is a type name that we don't know when we're calling the function. So we'll say t, in, out, we'll just call it that. And it will take t, in, and we'll just return in. Very simple, but it is good for our example. So this is our template function. And the template is kind of like a variable within a variable. So we have our parameter, and its value can vary. It can be 10, 20, 30. If it's a string, it can be hello, goodbye, anything. And also the type of our parameter can vary. So it's t, so it can be anything. It can be an int, it can be a bool, it can be a string, it can be a char, it can be certain classes, or actually any classes in the case of this function. So it can this function can pretty much take in, in take in anything and it can also return anything so to, so to show you this we'll say standard out and we're going to say in out and we'll give it 10 and then we're going to say standard count no we're not we're going to say end line and then Oh, I misspelled in out. That's why it's giving me the error. So then we're going to do another output. Standard count in out hello and end line. So, oops, I put a semicolon here. So we've called our in-out function with two completely separate types of values. We have one with an int and one with a string. So in most cases this would produce an error, but we get 10 in hello. So our template function is allowed to take in any type of value. So hopefully you can see how useful template functions could be, but there are some limitations. The first is a performance limitation. So in some cases, calling a template function like this could cause a severe performance decrease. Or, not calling calling the function once wouldn't, but if you called it a bunch of times a second, that would cause a severe performance decrease. And the reason for that is because, in some cases, not this case, because if you hover over it, you can see that the compiler was able to figure out what type T is in this case, because we just give it 10. So, this is decided on compile time. And also here, it's a pointer to a constant char. So in this case, the performance decrease won't happen because the compiler managed to figure out what type we wanted. But that can't always happen. So when it can't happen, then during runtime, the program has to figure out what type that you want your template function to be taking in. And that can take some time. So be careful when you're using these. And if you want to get rid of that performance decrease, use triangle brackets, and you just put the type name right here. So what this is saying is call in out, 
make with t as an int with the parameter 10 and you can also do it here say constant yep constant char pointer so we're saying call in out where t is a pointer to a constant char and the parameter is hello so this gets rid of that performance decrease and we still get the same output so the other limitation is more of an annoyance than a problem you may have noticed that I declared and defined my function right here instead of declaring it above main and then defining it below main which I usually do but with template functions you have to declare and define the function in the same place so the same statement must declare and define it like it does here you can't say t and out and then define it down here it has to be declared and defined in the same place I don't know why but it's just how it works so the last thing we're gonna do in this tutorial is use multiple uh, template types so we're gonna change the function up a little we can get rid of this and instead of returning in actually let's change the template first so if you want to have two template types you just put a comma here and say type name and I think U is the convention for a second one so now let's not make this T we'll just make this void it's not gonna return anything anymore so we can also get rid of this statement too so T in and we'll say U in two and we will output in space in two and end line so what we've done here is we've added a new template type so this can be of one variable type so this could be like an int and this could be of another variable type so this could be a constant char string or anything else so let's call it again to show you so say in out and we'll just give it 10 and oops hello so this should print roughly the same thing just without the end line so we get 10 space hello so we've given it two values of different types and we haven't specified those types in the function declaration so this could be of any type we could change this to a bool and we get one hello or it could be anything else but keep in mind that uh, by using the count command you've limited this function to only being able to take in values that are able to be printed without any special modification so that can only be determined at runtime by an error the compiler won't be able to figure that out for you so keep that in mind when you're using template functions you have to be careful with what values you're giving it and also again if you want to get rid of the performance decrease with a template function to do that with multiple template types you'd say int and then use a comma and we have constant char star so that gets rid of the performance decrease and again we get 10 hello so that's all for this tutorial again in the next tutorial we'll be going over template classes which are even more useful than template functions in my opinion so see you in the next video